is a memory card? Well, memory cards are considered camera media. That's why some people call them memory cards and others call them media cards. Either way, this is where your images are recorded and stored when you use a digital camera. And once you transfer these images off your card onto your computer and back them up, you can clear off the card and reuse it to take more images. Which memory card should I buy? Various types of memory cards are available. You have compact flash, secure digital, and memory sticks. And some memory cards are proprietary to certain digital cameras. For instance, compact flash cards are used by most professional level DSLR cameras. Secure digital cards are the most popular and are used in compact cameras and entry level DSLR camera models. And memory stick cards are proprietary to Sony still and video cameras. The camera box and camera manual will reference which memory card your camera will accept. How many images do they hold? Well, higher resolution cameras equal larger image files, so more image file storage space is needed. Good thing the new memory cards come in higher capacities. Your digital camera probably came with a small capacity memory card that will give you a few images, but it's a good idea to purchase another memory card with a higher capacity and an extra backup one too. Otherwise, you're changing memory cards in the middle of a shoot and there's always a chance you might drop one or damage it. Plus, you might run out of space on your memory card and miss that once in a lifetime shot. Memory cards are available in megabyte, gigabyte, and terabyte capacities, and they hold from hundreds to thousands of images depending on the image quality setting you've chosen on your camera. Some digital camera LCD viewfinders will even display the approximate number of images you can shoot once you insert the memory card and set the image quality. I often use a 4 gigabyte memory card in my compact camera and a 16 gigabyte card in my DSLR. My memory card has a class or speed rating. What does that mean? Well, unlike conventional film, high-speed memory cards are not more sensitive to light. They just record and transfer data faster. However, that's an advantage only if your camera reads and writes data quickly. Without getting into all the differences between speeds and classes, just keep in mind that digital SLRs work great with high-speed cards, like a 150X or a class 6 to 10, while compact cameras will accept lower speed cards. How do I use a memory card? Before you insert or remove a memory card from a camera, make sure the camera is turned off. Otherwise, you may damage your card and the images. Here's how you do it. Open the memory card door, carefully insert the memory card into the slot, and make sure it clicks into place. Close the door and turn on the power to your camera. Before you begin shooting, you'll need to format your memory card. Formatting sets up the proper directories on your memory card and helps it perform at peak potential. To format your card, go into your camera's menu settings and select Format. Click OK and your camera will format the memory card. If you've inserted a new memory card into your camera, it's best if you format the card before taking any pictures. If you've inserted an older memory card into your camera, perhaps one you've used in another digital camera, you'll also need to format the card before taking pictures. Never format a card before you've transferred and backed up all your images somewhere else, because formatting also erases all your images on the card. And although it's okay to do every once in a while, deleting images with the trash can icon on your camera is not the optimum choice. Most camera and memory card manufacturers recommend formatting your memory card when it's in your camera. How do I transfer my images off the memory card? Once you've taken your images, you'll need to transfer them to your computer with a card reader or the USB cable that was included with your camera. There are also memory cards with Wi-Fi capabilities that allow you to wirelessly transfer your images from your camera to your computer or any photo video sharing site from any Wi-Fi location. Here are a few memory card do's and don'ts. Do have a fully charged battery before transferring images to another location. Don't remove the memory card while files are still being transferred. Do format your memory card in camera and not in computer. Don't use a memory card from another camera without formatting it first. Up next is exposure. What it is, 
how it works, and how to take a great shot.